we've invested heavily in inventory and one of the things we've also done is we're doubling our warehouse space um, and we're doing that because we need to bring in more inventory so the more inventory we have the wider the, the stock that we have we can support our customers and many more customers. Can you describe your business with Euro circuits? We know we are very demanding <laughs> through the API we share with you. We are launching thousands of requests and sending you hundreds of order lines on a daily basis. How does it work for you? So the first thing is I'm really pleased that Euro circuits use API because not all of our customers do that. So it's a great opportunity to gain efficiencies within the business and take cost out of the business for Mauser and take cost out of the business for Euro circuits. Very interesting. How long does it take for an order you receive from us to be delivered on our income goods? So um, I didn't touch on it, but we have the one warehouse in Mansfield, Texas, which is near Dallas, Fort Worth. So the shipment into Europe is around two to three days. Okay, it does depend on where in Europe, and of course you guys are in Eastern Europe, um, so it is about two to three days. Most of our customers and hopefully US circuits are, are happy with that and uh, it works really, really well. We changed our position. Now we are the supplier for one of our customers we visited here. Who is Infratech? Where do you come from and what is your business? Infratech is uh, producing infrared sensors, so we have two divisions. One division is for single or multi-sensor and pyroelectric uh, base. And the other division standing for infrared cameras means focal plane arrays, cameras for imaging, but also radiometric measurement um, of objects uh, contactless for the temperature. And we are your supplier with um, assembled boards. Your designer upload your, your data over our customer interface on, in our system. How do you adapt it in your process in engineering? Of course, this was uh, also a learning phase for us because everything is much faster, especially during the um, development phase. We have some changes um, by experience. We need to change something and the opportunity to have these changes directly forwarded to you to, make, to create these changes on a new prototype. We are very fast uh, in the development because we now can test directly um, our final systems and the final system is much more earlier available than before. Dirk, how do we select our suppliers? Well, Claudia, for Euro Circuits, it's, um, uh, we are a particular case in the market. Uh, as you know, we do prototypes in small series, quick turnaround. So for us, a supplier needs to be able to work with us directly in an electronic way. So an API is important, EDI ordering and invoicing is important. But what is also important is that these people have, of course, a, a very, let's say, realistic uh, stock. So uh, a good stock to have availability of a, a large range of components and log logistical possibilities to deliver us every day. Because in average, we make more than 50 assembly orders a day let's say uh, around 70 to 80 bomb lines. So every day we buy between uh, 3,000 and 4,000 different component types. So uh, it needs to go in an automatic way. And the same philosophy of getting these uh, components quickly uh, in our factory is of course necessary because we deliver to customers in three working days, in five working days for the assembly. So we use the time that we build the circuit board, which we also do in-house in our own factory, and that is in three or uh, from three to five days. We use this time to uh, do the logistics for the components. So it is important that everybody who works with us will get the stuff in to us in that period. I was looking around and found Euro circuits, and they promised me that they can deliver the part, which is really raw at the moment, and they can do all the manufacturing in time, which is exact, fitting to the timeline of the Aronix trade fear. <laughs> what a nice story. <laughs> How many time do we need for assembly the boards? 
it was about one week, included sourcing, PTB manufacturing and assembly and shipping to Munich. The customer is usually also working with us and, uh, and, and, and very often they supply specific components. But we invented another thing and that is if you look at the whole value chain of uh, creating electronics, it takes uh, weeks yeah, before you come from an idea to uh, a finalized design where you can send the data to your supplier. So we say to the, to the designers, use this time when, when your critical bomb is defined, when all your critical parts are defined, at that moment, give the bomb to us as a pre-order, we call it parts pre-order, so we can already do the logistics. In that case, you win several weeks because the time between you fix your critical bomb until your PCB data and your placement data and your final bomb is ready, can be easily a few weeks and why not use this time to get the logistics uh, organized. Dirk, you said we manufacture 50 different boards per day in our PCB assembly. Is it, is it all or what, what is your plan? Will it grow? Well, Claudia, at the moment it is a bit uh, exploding because some days we got 60 and at one week we even got a day where there were 75 orders. And at the moment uh, it's, it's, it's even a bit too much, we can't make it. But luckily we are, we are always thinking ahead in, uh, in Eurocircus and uh, in the beginning of the year we started building a new building and uh, the new building will be ready by the end of this month and uh, the new machines that we bought uh, in, in the spring of this year will be installed in December and over Christmas we will, uh, we will move all the machines from our uh, current building to the new building and we will be on a size four times as big as where we are now. So then we will have eight assembly lines, eight my 300 assembly lines just for prototypes and small series. So my hope is to go not 15 or 75 but to 100 so that will be a challenge and uh, but uh, we will get there we will get there <laughs> and we will here <laughs> thank you